All right, so we hit our first prospect pits of the day here. And there's quite a lot, actually. There's uh, a pit with a trench, another pit over there, and then there's a big trench there. Looks like there's something over there. Uh, it doesn't look like major workings, though. It's definitely just prospects. So we'll keep moving on to our main objective. All right, so I just hit one of my LiDAR anomalies here, which is a huge tailings pile. And this one actually isn't at it, but it's collapsed. So this one, pretty good sized tailings pile, definitely a few hundred feet of tunnel. And there's no way we're digging this one. It's just, there's too much soil erosion. A little foundation now. I mean, this is a good sized tailings pile. This is really nice. But we still have lots more coordinates to check out. So let's see what else we find. Okay, so it looks like I'm pretty much at the top of the hill. And here is a nice pile of tailings exposed to the surface. Oh, look at the pit. Flooded pit. It's hoping for an adit, but I guess not. It's a pretty nice tailings pile, though. Let's see what's over here. And another flooded pit. Unfortunately, ROVing stuff like this just doesn't work. When it's exposed to the surface, the ROV is not does not have good visibility and there's too many leaves and branches. So I actually really enjoy finding these workings that are up at the top of the mountains because the tailings are usually nicely exposed. There's no uh, foliage cover them, covering them and the shafts are actually really well defined and still um, somewhat clear. The water's pretty murky, but um, it's well defined where the shaft was. There isn't a lot of soil erosion because it's all rock. I have one more LiDAR anomaly to check out in this area. All right, so I've just reached the most remote LiDAR anomaly yet, and it's just a little prospect pit. But this is really important to check all these out and find them because, first of all, I need to be able to, to learn what is man-made and what is natural. And by the, the fact that I'm finding these prospect pits in the absolute middle of nowhere is really reassuring. These, although so far these have all been prospect pits, they could very well be adits. A tailings pile for a prospect pit looks pretty much the same as a tailings pile for an adit. So it's really important to check out every one because this is pretty far out in the middle of nowhere. There's no trails anywhere near this one. This could have could as well been an adit, and an adit may be may still have artifacts and tools and clues from the past. And since it's so far away from trails and and really any place where anyone would would travel or hunt or or walk, it may be a completely untouched site. So it's important to to check off all of these. LiDAR anomaly, so not only to, to train my eye to determine what I'm seeing on the maps to determine what it looks like in real life, but also we may get lucky and find an actual adit that's enterable, then still may have artifacts and tools inside. So you don't know unless you go out and try, and the only way to do it is systematically check off every single LiDAR anomaly from one sloth, swath of land and then move on to the next. So I was really actually happy to find this little prospect pit here. And you never know, a lot of times these have interesting minerals on the tailings pile and crystals and lead minerals uh, here in this area. But also this is great practice for going out and finding these targets in these large swaths of, of forest. I actually really enjoy bushwhacking and just trekking through this untrodden 
uh, forest without trails or any sort of uh, way of, of guiding myself other than just going towards my LIDAR anomaly. And I probably wouldn't really have any reason to come out here if I wasn't looking for these LIDAR anomalies. All right, so this was one anomaly here that was not man-made. It was actually just a weird concentration of boulders. On the, on the maps, it looked like four small pits all in a row but it's actually just natural depressions and boulders caused by the stream channel here. So um, everything else today was man-made, this one was not. So that's pretty much it for the day. I'm gonna head back. I have probably about three and a half miles to go to get back to the car. So that's a little bit of a hike. I'm gonna head back now. The sun is just starting to get a little low in the sky. So, so that's it for the day.